I don't know, something, something you can show and tell. You can be like, boom, this is what happened. That's why I have a God. You know, that's why there's a God. You know what I mean? You can do that. If you don't have those, you know what I mean? Technically, yeah, all right, cool. You don't, you don't have a God. You don't need a God. You can go about your little godly business. Why attack Jesus if he don't exist? People be going in on this Jesus thing, man. If Jesus don't exist, why attack him? Who are you attacking? And then if I tell you to tell, speak, go speak to God, right? Go, go, and look, go and look for him. Where am I going to find him? Like I said, speak to him in the language that has basically put all the universe together. Now, where did God come from? God had to come, I confirm that God had to come from a God who had to come from a God who had to come from a God who had to come from a God. It's a never ending cycle. That's why it's a never ending process and that's why there was the most high because there's always got to be something that has started. And chances are if it started like that there still has to be an origin doesn't there? Okay then. Everything has to start from something. Everything has to have a process. Everything has to evolve at some sort of time in history before there is time. Before there was time that man was able to calculate. There's other different types of times. We're just on the Milky Way time. We need, we need to understand that there's going to be a time, hopefully in human history, that we're going to be able to know the, the times of other galaxies. We don't know where the sun is rotating, at what time it is on this, on this planet and that planet. That's the type of level that we're probably ascending to. You know what I mean? If we keep good, if we keep imagining good. That was the main reason Noah flooded. Noah, um, in the book of Noah, God, that, that God, decided to flood the planet. People were imagining evil. You see what I mean? That was one of the main reasons he just destroyed the planet. And another thing is, he destroyed the planet with a, with a deep amount of water. He released the waters of the deep. You know what I mean? You could always give that an attribute to, to new, but new is just a translation of it that we can hold and be thankful that we know this. And it's now coming to fruition. You know what I mean? All we got to do, right, is as far as the comedic gods are concerned, you don't have to call them gods, you can call them ancestors. You don't have to burn any incense, you don't have to worship them, you know what I'm saying? We had a patah, that means somebody had to know something about the creator. When you look at the Lord God, what does this dude advertise himself as? Besides the jealous God, because that's like his only flaw. And if you look at the jealousy issue of it, the Lord God is like this. I brought you out of Egypt when you wasn't shit. You know what I mean? I brought you out of there. I took, I, I helped you out. You wanted to leave? I helped you get out of there. All right? Don't go worshiping any other God. I'm the only God you need. So, what that says is that you're, you have to be a God of love. You got to be the God of this, that, third. Because they had that many gods out there at the time. You know what I mean? You had to be a, a God of everything. Um, the only possible, close, even close to equivalent of that is... I'm on, but this is a guy that has more relation to Batah than anything. You see what I mean? Now, either that is the same God, or that God visited our <laughs> visited our ancestors and left, or it was stolen, or. We were the ones that stole it. You gotta, you gotta look at it both ways. You can't look at it the, the half-ass, you know. Oh, I, the Jews stole all that shit from Egypt. No, no, it's not that simple. You see, it's not that simple. That it was, that was never stolen. You can't just steal that. 
You see what I mean? You can't just steal that without the Egyptians knowing about it and writing it on the goddamn walls. You see what I mean? They never did that. They never really gave him too many props. The clo closest they came was the Shasu of Yahweh. And people always go with the Shasu. You, you know somebody's possessed a little bit when they start doing the Yahweh thing. And sometimes it's cool if you know what, you, if you know what you're fucking with. If you know your facts on the walls, Yahweh was the biggest set, was one of the biggest problems they had. But in what kind of way they didn't want to say they let they let that be to to Amun because they knew that the they left you know what I mean once they left everything was all right um and I never been there I never really seen the walls I just be clicking up on Wikipedia I, that's where I get most of my shit <laughs> uh, I I do read a lot I, extensive reading of the Bible because the shit it's so it's so much. Of us in there, it's frightening that people are like turning away from it. It's like they like looking at it, like oh no, he's, you know, it's the the the, the, the Jews is just they steal they they steal everything from from Egypt. No man, it's not that easy. It ain't that easy. Never was, never will be, and people need to start fucking understanding that.